Well, hey guys, it's Angela from Jaded Art Craft and Designs. I wanted to share this um, mini album with you. It is a ten and a half by nine album. It's featuring the Recollections uh, Espresso pack, and it is just gorgeous paper. I I really think this album um, kind of lends towards more of the masculine side, but. I love it, so it, it works out really well. So this album only has four main pages, but each one of them is really interactive and it has a ton of elements that you can use to put your photos in. So on the front cover I have, it's just basic, and I have this uh, little frame here that you can open up in nicely stick in uh, a 4 by 6 photo and it is magnetic so it'll hold it in place really nicely and on the side of the album I, I did some texture on this spine and the spine is uh, two and a half inches so it's got a lot of there's a lot of room in here and on the back it is uh, it's I left it plain it's a uh, this paper is just gorgeous. It speaks for itself. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot of browns, black, gold, cream, and tons of uh, the foil. Um, it's just incredible. So, when you open it up, I left the, the front cover um, plain. So, you can do that. Um, you can put as many photos here, 8 by 10 all the way down to as many wallets as you want, actually. Um, so this first page, uh, here's a little um, tab right here, and I have this little mini pocket with uh, lots of little journaling spots, and all of these in here is uh, interchangeable. You can stick it down wherever you want. This is just where I stored um, some of these pieces. And then this is also magnetic and it opens up and you've got this great big photo spot here as well as right here. And on this page I have two little uh, flaps for, this measures um, four and a quarter by six and a quarter so it'll fit your four by six photo just perfectly. And both of them open up like this. So. There's a front page and you can also have a little journaling right here. And everything is in um, distressed with uh, the Tim Holtz uh, walnut stain. And in between every one of these pages is uh, a big photo mat. And on the back I left it plain. Um, with all of these that are black on the back, I there is Recollections makes these little markers. Uh, this one is an opaque marker. It's called Snow and it just writes on here beautifully. Um, I th I'm going to list this on eBay and I will um, include this marker in here. Also I have some this uh, these really nice grungy flowers that I'm also going to put in here. Let me pull those out. Just one second, guys. Um, these flowers right here, they're bronze and it matches this paper line really well. So this will, I will also be sending this with it. I didn't want to do too much embellishing on it just because um, a lot of people have their own uh, style of what they like. But yeah, so let's keep going on. This next page has uh, a two pocket thing and here is some more journaling spots and here is some 4x4 four four little tags that you can put like wallet photos on and of course you can journal on the back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then here is uh, five by seven uh, photo mats. These are 
five and a half by seven and a half, and I'm adding them down to a seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. So it will fit your five by seven photos really well. Of course, you got this area back here, and there is tons of room. I've designed this where you can stick tons of stuff back here, and it's not gonna um, mess you up too bad. And on this page, a lot of gold shimmery. And I made a classic little belly band. And here's another spot for a 5x7 photo journaling here. And I made these two little booklets. And it's black. On the, it's plain on the back. You can just stick them down here. And I was playing around with it. You can just stick these anywhere and they'll, they'll stay. I have so much fun making these. And again, there is another large photo mat right here. And it's also plain on the back. So, the next page, um, here's a great photo area, and I love this paper. It's got the foil coffee drips and stains, as well as the French script in the background. So you open this up, and there is uh, another dual pockets here, 4x6 photo frames, and then a 5x7 and you can just stick those back in. And one thing I like about my my pockets, my dual pockets, is that they're really flat. They're um, and they're small, so they don't overlap, and you don't get a whole lot of bulk. And right here on this page, I did a whole waterfall design, and I just left it plain because I think with when you stick a photo here, that black outline looks uh, really good. But this is just a simple little waterfall. And there's a place that just takes 12 photos, plus right here we'll make 13. Yes. And on this page right here, I just have this little tag right here held down by a Tim Holtz little mini paper clip. So you can do some journaling on here. And then this is the same as that other, it's just a four stack pocket system. There's one here, 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 and then there is this very back one, and you can stick a lot of stuff in here. And these are the 5x7 photo mats. So there's tons and tons of room in here to put all of your photos. Like I said, I think this gears more towards the masculine. Um, yeah, <laughs> so here's this photo mat, and these photo mats right here, they are, I forget what size they are, um, they're eight by nine and a half, so, this little, oh, I didn't close it back up, this little, um, I did like a coin envelope right here, and it just wraps up like this, but you can do some journaling here, a journaling spot here, and it opens up, and you have two 5x7 photo mats back here, and this is that burlap paper, I just love it, and it's black on the back of it, and it closes up just by wrapping it back up here, and you can open it up, here's some more of that skirt paper. Do you see the, the foil? It's so awesome. And then here is this, and it'll open up and it gives you a whole more location for more photos here. All right, and on this very last page, and this is my favorite, um, I got these two little swing tabs that I actually punched this out of the paper line and um, popped it up so it'll do a little swivel here and you got this whole photo mat here and it opens up to another great location for photo and you can put photos here and you can pop this down and there is a, a pocket page and there's tons of photo mats with 4x6 photos and 4x4 journaling you can also put something back here and then yeah. 
great paper. I love these. Just stick it back. And this little area right here, I gave it um, an eighth of an inch gutter. So when you fold it over and you put your stuff in here, it's going to sit up so it's not, it'll still um, close. And the same I did over here. It's not going to mess with any of your stuff. There. And the very last page is my absolute favorite. I um, love playing with magnets. So this is what I created to hold this down. And then you got this uh, paper right here. And you can open it up here and here. And then you got this right there. So there's that. And this little book, I love this book. Um, you have this um, journaling spot here that you can write on. I'm not a huge fan of doing a whole lot of uh, putting journaling spots down because so many of the photo albums you see, uh, you really can't uh, get in there and write on them because sometimes they're, they're um, so chunky that uh, it's just almost impossible to write on. So I like to have my, my journaling tags where you can pull them out and then just stick them back in where you want them. So this little mini booklet um, features uh, two um, waterfalls that go in opposite directions. Great little travel book. And again, right down here, there's this. So great opportunity. And it just, uh, so it's really flexible, so it'll, it'll rise. There's an inch little spine on there. So it goes back here. And then again, I left uh, this back page blank so you can um, do it how you want. I love the, the wood green, how it is on the front and on the back. And then of course, the here's the back of the book. So I had a lot of fun making this book, um, even though it, it's uh, really simple, but it's um, pretty involved and um, has a lot of a lot of fun elements. And again, um, this, here's just an example. You can stick your photo back here and close it up, and it'll hold it nice and secure, and it's not going to fall open. It'll hold it. Um, there is several magnets in here to keep that tight. And I just love the texture on this. If you see it, it's awesome texture. It's actually this, uh, this trim that I got. I think I got it from Walmart. It's Offrey. And it's um, really shimmery. So I turned it over on the, to the back and it's got this really black, um, just really cool texture so I just um my punch that down and it just gives a whole overall um look of the paper it goes with it really well I think so um like I said I will um include this marker in here and it works really well um I'll have a scrap piece all of these recollections um Well, mine's almost dead. I have another one, a brand new one. But this is the one I've been marking on to write all my element size pages. So, and also, like I said, I'll um, incorporate these flowers too because I think they go really well with the, with the paper line. And if you can see, they are, um, they've got a lot of copper. So they'll go with this uh, really well. Nicely glimmer misted. So you guys, thank you so much for um, supporting us and thank you for watching this video. Um, I will um, we'll have more coming soon. I'm working on this uh, Prima Nature Garden, so I can't wait to get that up. So thanks again, guys, and I will um, 
Talk to you soon. Bye.